Good morning everyone! In this video I am going to show you how you can turn your daily weather into a graph. The first thing we need to do when we're making a graph is give it a title. So I'm going to call it this week's weather and put today's date on it. So I know that I'm talking about the week that we're in right now. Now down the side of the page, I'm going to put all the different kinds of weather that I think I might see in the week. So I'm going to start with the sun. So these are all the different kinds of weather we might see this week. It might be a sunny day, it might be cloudy, it might be cloudy but a little bit sunny, it might be rainy, or it might be really stormy. Now it's time to record our data onto our graph. So if I look out the window today, it's a little bit cloudy, so I'm going to draw my clouds over here next to the cloudy symbol. Then let's say I wake up tomorrow and it's going to be sunny, so then I'll draw a sun next to the sun. Then I might wake up on Wednesday and it is another cloudy day. So we put another cloud here. And you're going to keep going like this right until the end of the week. So at the end of the week you should have seven records, seven pieces of data of what the weather's like. Now that you've recorded all your data for the week, you'll be able to get lots of information from your graph. So looking at your graph, we can see that most days were cloudy this week because the clouds come furthest along the graph. The next most common days were sunny because that's the next longest row on our graph. And we had one rainy day, but no cloudy and sunny days and no stormy days. We can tell lots of information by putting all of our data into a graph. I wonder what else you could make a graph for this week. Could you write down all of the fruit and vegetables that you eat and see which one you eat the most of? Or you could create a survey, a questionnaire for the people in your bubble and find out which animal or pet is most popular. Have fun making graphs this week. If you make one, remember to share it with your teacher. We'd love to see. Bye.